blogger.com versus a self-hosted WordPress website, the comparison that everybody keeps asking me for because I have tutorials on Blogger and tutorials on WordPress and which one is best, I can't decide, help me out, David. Let's begin. What's up everybody, it's David from WebsiteCreatePro.com. I hope you're having a great day. So in this comparison video, I'm gonna take a look at blogger.com versus a self-hosted WordPress website. We're going to be comparing these two platforms across three dimensions. We're going to be taking a look at SEO, monetization strategies, and design layout and ease of use. So let's get started. So let's begin by comparing the SEO between blogger.com and a self-hosted WordPress website. Now I'm just gonna come right out and say it that WordPress is better. Like a WordPress website just ranks better than a blogger blog. Like a great example is a blog post I wrote on edgeofdavid.com back when it was a WordPress powered website called How to Quit Playing Video Games. And that piece of content was ranking for the search term, quit playing video games, and it was just chilling at the bottom of page one. But ever since I moved everything over to Blogger, it's been about six months, that piece of content with the same exact content on a Blogger blog is still on like page four and five. It's just not performing as well. Now for a technical comparison between the two, obviously WordPress is just better because you have a lot more control over the on-page SEO of your website than you do with a Blogger blog, thanks in part to plugins like Rank Math and Yoast SEO. With WordPress, you can have a custom permalink structure. You can have it be something like slash blog, slash post title, whatever. With Blogger, you're stuck using dates. Next, WordPress uses categories, and categories are actually really helpful because it just creates a page that's very helpful that contains all the information about a specific topic on your website that a user can use to find specific content, where Blogger uses labels, and labels are okay, but they're just not as good as categories. Last is breadcrumbs. So <laughs> like a one man show here on the internet talking about breadcrumbs. Anybody who's followed any of my WordPress tutorials knows that like I am a big believer in adding breadcrumbs to your website, like add breadcrumbs to your website. It provides good internal linking. It's very useful for the end visitor and Google really likes websites with breadcrumbs. And now with WordPress, adding breadcrumbs to your website is very easy. You just copy and paste some short code in and you're good to go. With Blogger, it's not the same. It's way more technical. You have to understand how to edit the HTML. And I haven't been, I haven't bothered to do it for my own personal blog just because it's too technical and I don't feel like jumping into the HTML and CSS and trying to figure out how to like add breadcrumbs effectively. And so that's why I really like WordPress because it's just easier with that regard. Next up is monetization between a blogger blog and a self-hosted WordPress website. So again, I'm just gonna come right out and say it that WordPress is better. Like WordPress is way better because you have more functionality and flexibility due in part to the plugins that you can add to a WordPress powered website. So for example, you have access to a plugin called Pretty Links. And what Pretty Links does is it takes an ugly affiliate link and then makes it into something a lot more beautiful and appealing that people would actually feel comfortable with clicking on. So you can take some long, weird looking affiliate link and then you can change it into like websitecreatepro.com slash product. And people kind of trust when they see that a type of link like that a little bit more than they do with some like weird affiliate link. And with Blogger, you just have no way to cloak affiliate links. You have to either use Bitly or you just have to use the plain old affiliate link itself. And I can tell you that people don't really trust Bitly links that much. And people definitely don't want to click on any obvious looking affiliate link because they don't, they don't know like where I'm going to end up if I click this weird looking link on your website. Next are product boxes that you can add to your website with WordPress. So with WordPress and particularly like WebsiteCreatePro.com, I personally use and love this plugin called Stackable because I'm able to create these really big, gorgeous looking uh, product boxes that I use to promote various products and services as an affiliate. The product boxes look great and they help increase conversions. Where on a blogger blog, you just don't have access to anything like that. In addition, you have Amazon Associates. So with Amazon Associates and WordPress, there's tons of plugins that allow you to add like in product tables and specific product boxes to help increase conversions of your sales with Amazon Associates. Whereas with a blogger blog, you're kind of stuck either using the basic product image or just the basic Amazon uh, short link when promoting a product via Amazon Associates. Advertising is way more flexible with a WordPress powered website. So again, like you have access to different plugins. So like with a WordPress powered website, you can use a plugin like Ad Inserter and you can manually say like, okay, I want an ad to display here, here, and here on my website when people are visiting. Whereas with a Blogger blog, you don't have access to that. So with Blogger, your access is to either use the default layout within Blogger, which adds a AdSense to add to your footer in the sidebar, or you have to enable Google Auto Ads, 
with Blogger. Now with WordPress, you don't have to use AdSense. You can use whatever ad network you want. With Blogger, you can't. And so that's a big difference as well. And so if you wanna go like apply to AdThrive with your WordPress powered website, if you get enough traffic, you can do that. But if it's a Blogger blog, you can't do that. You have to be stuck using AdSense. If that makes any sense. So that's a big difference between the two. So overall, WordPress is way better for monetization strategies when compared to Blogger. And you can also sell your WordPress website. So I think people kind of forget that, but when compared to a Blogger blog, you can actually like build your WordPress website into a sellable asset. You can list it on a website like Flippa, or Empire Flippers and turn it around for a profit once you have a decent amount of traffic installed in a way that you just can't with a Blogger blog. Design layouts and ease of use. So I'm just gonna say that this is a tie between WordPress and Blogger. Now, yeah, anybody can go to blogger.com and sign in with a Gmail account and then boom, you have your website.blogger.com. It really is that easy. Uh, whereas WordPress has a few more steps where you have to get a domain name, a shared hosting account, install WordPress and design your website with a WordPress theme. But with like a blogger blog, like you're not gonna want your website to be website.blogger.com. You're gonna wanna have a custom domain name. And so then you gotta kind of figure out how to do that, which is why I create tutorial videos here to help you out. And so that's why I say like blogger is seemingly easy to use, but to get it to like where you wanna be is going to require a, a little bit of some technical skills to, that you're going to need to develop. Now, in terms of design of the website, WordPress uses themes and there's thousands of themes and all themes today kind of provide some type of like drag and drop functionality to work well with the Gutenberg block editor. Yeah, it has a learning curve, but if you're willing to put in the time with WordPress, you're gonna find out that you can create any type of website that you want pretty easily with any type of WordPress theme. And by contrast, Blogger works by way of templates and with your Blogger account, you only have access to a few basic good looking templates. And then you have access to a lot of like really old data templates that you're not going to even wanna bother with. And so, yeah, there's websites where you can go and download a Blogger template and install it. But again, that's a little bit technical for most people. So that's why I said like Blogger is kind of seemingly easy to use, but to get to where you want to be is going to require you to develop a little bit more technical skills. And last, with regards to creating content, both are the same. Like they're both kind of functionally the same. They're kind of like just a text editor where you can create title tags, subheaders, paragraphs not really that confusing and create inner links between content, you know, automatically add in videos and images with ease at the click of a button. I think it's fairly intuitive for most people. So with regards to actually creating and publishing content, WordPress and Blogger are functionally kind of the same. They're not wildly different. So I wouldn't say like one is better than the other. If you made it this far into the video, smash that like button because it really helps with the YouTube algorithm. Which one is best? Well, I just gave Blogger a big time thrashing, so I'm sure you already know the answer to this. Look, if you wanna build an income generating website, a potentially sellable asset, then go with WordPress. Don't even waste your time with Blogger. Now that's not to say, again, Blogger is bad. It's not. I personally use Blogger for my personal blog because I get free web hosting. I just have to pay for the custom domain name and I'm able to run Google AdSense on it and make a little bit of passive income. You go with Blogger if you just want a personal website. If you're okay with it just being the small, little fun side thing that you do, that's why you go with Blogger. Otherwise, go with WordPress if your goal is to build an income generating web property. Okay, everybody, that is it for this video on Blogger versus WordPress, which one is best. If you enjoyed it, consider subscribing, hit that like button. My name is David, websitecreatepro.com. Thank you very much for watching and have a good day. Bye-bye.